On the campaign trail in Iowa this weekend, Democratic presidential candidates vowing to expand gay rights with a unified attack on President Trump. ABC's Stephanie Ramos is in Cedar Rapids with more. Stephanie, good morning. Wait, good morning. We may be in the early months of the 2020 presidential election, but later this afternoon, almost all of the 23 Democratic presidential candidates will gather for one of the biggest events yet in the race to the White House. Today, Iowa will host the largest gathering of presidential candidates at one event. 19 out of the 23 Democratic presidential contenders will speak at Iowa's Democratic Party Hall of Fame celebration. It caps a weekend of appearances around the battleground state. Many of the candidates speaking at a pride festival in Des Moines Saturday. Are you willing to fight for equality and justice and take a brave stand. The presidential candidates proclaiming their support for LGBTQ rights. As president, I will make sure that I sign into law the Equality Act to make sure that no state can take away the civil rights of any American. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders echoing the message of equality. In this moment in American history, we stand together and we fight for justice for all. The Thank candidate's attention much. quickly shifting to the Trump administration. New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand also going after the president and his directive to ban transgender people from serving in the military. I will eliminate the transgender ban in the military. I will make sure if you would like a third gender on your driver's license or any federal license that you may put an X. Pete Buttigieg, a married gay man, recounting his coming out story and using President Trump's own campaign slogan against him. Because we in the LGBTQ community know when we hear phrases like make America great again, that that American past was never quite as great as advertised. Buttigieg is one of three mayors in the Democratic race for the top spot in the Iowa caucus, competing against former vice president and presidential candidate Joe Biden. Biden won't be at the big gathering today, but is scheduled to campaign in Iowa Tuesday, the same day President Trump attends a GOP fundraiser in the same state. At the event later on this afternoon, each of the candidates will have a strict five minutes to give a rapid fire speech in front of 1,400 guests. They are basically pitching themselves. One takes the stage and one goes off. Wit. All those candidates looking for an edge. And Stephanie, we also know that it's very early in the 2020 race, but a new poll in Iowa shows Biden with a strong lead over his Democratic opponents. That's right, Wade. According to the Des Moines Register CNN Iowa poll just uh, being released overnight, the field of Democratic presidential candidates is starting to break down into tears. Joe Biden is in the lead and Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren and Pete Buttigieg are in close competition for second place. And Biden's lead in Iowa is smaller, though, than what we've seen in national polls for him. But keep in mind, we are just 239 days away from the first caucus. Back over to you. Stephanie Ramos in Iowa, thank you. So let's bring in our chief anchor, George Stephanopoulos, who will be hosting this week later this morning. Good morning, Good morning. sir. Let's start with Joe Biden. He, uh, he has a smaller lead in this poll than we've seen in other national polls. And if you look into the guts of the poll, he looks like there may be an enthusiasm gap. 29% of his supporters say they're extremely enthusiastic, 39% for some of the other candidates. What do you make of all this? Well, that is a little bit of a warning sign for Joe Biden. On the other hand, his support across the party is quite wide. He's got the widest support across the party of any of the candidates. He's in some ways for a lot of Democrats the safe choice. The candidate who's best positioned to beat uh, President Trump, not necessarily the choice of those who, who are looking for, for, for passion to, to really back a candidate with some passion. But he has slipped a bit since the last poll. The other big news there is that uh, Bernie Sanders has slipped a bit since the last poll and pretty big surge for Mayor Pete Buttigieg and uh, Elizabeth Warren's doing pretty well as well. What do you, we see again, going hearkening back to that graphic that we were seeing just a few seconds ago of these this two, two dozen candidates up there. Um, when you look at, you've got this morning on the show, this one of the marquee candidates, Beto O'Rourke. He was marquee when he burst onto the scene initially. He was on the cover of Vanity Fair. But now he's not polling that high. What do you do if you're a former congressman like that and you're trying to make waves? That's one of my big questions for him this morning. If you look back at that Des Moines Register poll back in December, he was in third place. Uh, then in March, he slipped a bit more. Now he's tied for six, down at 2% in the poll. So he, he, he hasn't... Uh, it, 
built on the spark he created from his losing Senate race to Ted Cruz last November. And he's going to have to readjust and do something to get some traction. Of course, that big first Democratic debate is coming up in a couple of weeks. He's going to have to find a way to shine there. And let me just go back to Joe Biden for a second, because we've got this big cattle call tonight. 19 of the candidates showing up to speak in Iowa. Biden not going to be there. He says it's family uh, stuff he's got to do. Do you think perhaps there's some deliberate strategy of trying to stay above the fray? Not perhaps. It is deliberate strategy. <laughs> yeah, he's, he, he also skipped the California State Democratic Convention uh, last week, but he is going to be in Iowa on Tuesday on the same day that President Trump uh -huh. is there. A, f a full schedule, and that really is a big part of the Biden strategy. He wants to be engaging with President Trump right now, not the other Democrats. And in some ways, uh, the president has helped his strategy because the president has targeted targeted him more than any other Democrat. So Joe Biden wants to start the general election right now. Mm -hmm. George, thank you very thank much. You Always a pleasure. And I want to remind everybody, George has a big show later this morning. He is, as we said, he's going to go one on one with 2020 presidential candidate Beto O'Rourke, plus the powerhouse roundtable debating the week's political news and the latest on the 2020 race. It's all coming up on this week. George, thank you thank again. You guys. Over to you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.